Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. We're going to do another test drive route, which is number nine in the series. And this is going to take us, I'll put it on the screen, from the test centre. We're going to go down past Radnor Park and the Royal Victoria Hospital and then take the back roads through the little suburban area till we get up to the uh, M20 junction. Then we'll take the old Dover, the Churchill Avenue across to... Dover Road, then it goes down to the Warren area, comes down to the harbour, and it should normally go up the Road of Remembrance, but we've had the land slip, so we can't do that. So I'm going to do a transition from there to the Lees. Also, a little change, I've got a new microphone set up, so hopefully this will be the first video that I do shooting with it, so it'll be interesting to see. It's a Rode Wireless Go, which came with my new Osmo Pocket. So um, I had to buy another one. My son's got the existing one. So yeah, it's got a little receiver which plugs in the bottom and records the audio from the transmitter, which I've got here. So yeah, let's do it. Very little commentary from me unless I see a hazard and I'll just let the voiceover guide me on my route. Don't forget, if you like these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button. At the junction, turn right. The junction, turn right. It's a lovely day for a drive. And it's my lunch break. <laughs> At the junction, turn right. here, could be in the middle of the road. I will always point out that you should be looking for pedestrians and doors opening, that kind of thing, especially on double parked cars. At the junction, turn right. Got a cyclist on my right here. Cyclist on the left. Oh, edging out. So it's a, quite a wide road, this one. At the roundabout, take the first exit. I'm kind of following my nose here because I think I know the way. I'll know the way when I get past the housing estate. A level crossing ahead. Nobody waiting to cross though. Someone crossing at the crossing. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Second exit is actually kind of straight across, although that's straight across. So, right-hand lane and indicate. And don't forget to indicate off. Car's parked on my side of the road. Car coming out of junction. Got a zebra crossing ahead, nobody waiting. See a pedestrian there waiting. At the traffic lights, turn left. How fortunate they stayed green.
Take the next left. Okay, this takes us into the housing estate where I have to get my memory banks working. Follows around. And I've said it in my videos many times. I don't know if you're expected to do a three point turn, whether you're supposed to turn the vehicle around in a junction, all of that kind of stuff. I'll leave that to your driving school. All I'm concerned with in these videos is what is the actual route. I can see why they would bring you round here because it's um twisty and turny and you never know if there's something coming ahead of you, you know. Now the route does actually take us down left there but I think you turn the vehicle around and then bring it back out again and for the sake of timing on this video I'm not going to do that At the junction, turn right. At the roundabout, Take the third exit. Third exit, eh? Learn a driver. So see the driving schools are bringing you around here. Take the third right. school on the right so if you were doing your test at lunch break you might have a lot of pupils running around I think we go up here I would have said that anyway in the road. I've been doing 20 miles an hour around here. There was nothing enforcing 20, which makes me think it's probably a 30 mile an hour zone. It's 20, 25. At the junction, turn right. Okay, so we've got to kind of cross a dual carriageway. So it might be a case of entering the middle island if both sides aren't clear. But they are ironically clear. Very nice. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Okay, in the right hand lane for this one.
and we're in the national speed limit zone. Two way traffic. At the roundabout, take the first exit. First exit is straight on, isn't it? So I'll stay in the left hand lane. Don't forget to indicate off the roundabout. Happy 50th, Donna. Still look good, it says. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So the second exit is straight across. We're entering a 30 zone. Make sure you're doing 30 at the sign. Don't slow down after. You want to be doing 30 as soon as you are in the zone. Which means slowing down before then, right? And because we're in a 30 zone, even though this is a dual carriageway, it's still a 30 zone, so don't race ahead or race up. At the roundabout, take the third exit. So I get in the correct lane. So in the absence of any direction, just keep following the road round. I didn't say turn off or anything. Still a 30, watch your speed here, because you're going downhill. It'd be very easy just to let the car slip away. Right, we've got a car reversing up ahead with some pedestrians. They're going to reverse into a drive. Zebra crossing with no one waiting. We've got the rubbish men with the truck. At the roundabout, take the first exit. This one takes us on some merry little jaunt because we're going to end up down there but it's going to take us through the housing estate. Right, we've got some speed bumps here and there's a school patrol. Take the second right. I 
drive in the middle of the road on this one. I'm doing 20. I just can't guarantee there won't be something coming. At the junction, turn right. Some cyclists there. I have to crane the old neck to see if there's anything coming. There is, so I'll give it a wait. Just the one car. Now there's a truck, but I'm committed now. Not a truck around. Take the next left. to toot my horn. <laughs> I'm going very slowly here, 15 miles an hour. Can you imagine having this one on your route, on your test? Pedestrians, both sides. Bit of postman. At the junction, turn right. It's a nice little route. I think it would um, definitely take you more than half an hour. But we've got a stop sign, so that's good. Wants to make sure we stop. At the junction, turn left. No one at the zebra crossing. Now. <laughs> Pedestrian in the road. Taxi's turning right. my system there right diverted traffic road ahead closed now it's in this point in the journey that we would go left on the road of remembrance. But we've had a landslide. So what I'm going to have to do is transition. I'll stop for, for a moment. We're going to have to transition from here, excuse me, to the top. Um, it kind of makes me think, would they do this route on your test drive? Probably not. But I'm including it in the series anyway. So from down here to up here. So you're just going to have to imagine that we've driven all the way up Road of Remembrance. And it would then continue up this road. All my system, 20 mile an hour zone. Pedestrian. Take the third right. This is one-way system, so I don't have to kind of s swerve to the sharp left, you know, to get into the right. But you have to enter the junction correctly, don't you? 
At the junction, turn left. Clear to my right, clear to my left. Pedestrian. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Oh, van on the left. Everyone's indicating. Lovely. It helps me because then I don't have to um, wait to see what they're doing. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Pedestrian with dog. And by now you would guess you are going back to the test center. Take the next right. Take the next right. Take the next left. Just make sure that it's clear to enter, because there might be someone coming out. Then find yourself a place to park, and that would be it, wouldn't it? So there you go, my test route number nine. I don't know how many there are. I think it goes into the teens, that's for sure. And a lot of them cover the same ground, but you just never know if you're, um, you know, going on all the same routes, if that makes sense. So yeah, thanks for watching and bearing with. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care.